Hi everybody, this is Tracy and I am going to talk about stepchildren and narcissists. Now, I am speaking from my own experience here and the many people that I have coached and helped with this. So um, if you've had a different experience, that's okay. Um, I'm going to raise the flag for us to look at the fact that when a narcissist um, has a stepchild, how difficult it is for them to, to take them under their wing, if you would. How difficult it is for them to love your child. They might pretend to love them, but the behaviors start to kind of reflect something that's different. It's difficult for anybody to come into a relationship where there is already a child. If there's already a child, um, depending on how old they are, um, the patterns of the child and, and the, the mother or the father relationship that the existing parent is with, um, they've got some, some bonds that a narcissist very often gets jealous of. They don't like to um, not be number one, right? So if your child is in your eyes always going to be number one, then it's going to be really hard for them to adapt. So going forward in other relationships, that's an important thing to note. And I'm not trying to scare you because lots of normal people can have relationships with your child, raise them as their own, and be a very good parent. So that is not what we're saying here. A narcissist might not show these behaviors, certainly at first, when you're in that love bombing stage of a relationship. And, and if you've had a child and they're coming into it, they're going to use that child to further love bomb you. I know that sounds weird, but they do. They act like, oh my goodness, I'll be the best stepfather, stepmother. I will love your child as if it's my own. I already consider your child my child. Um, if they jump into that bucket too quickly, make note of that because it takes time and you need to see them under pressure with your child. You need to see them in a, in a place where the kid might be throwing temper tantrums or might be getting bad grades or might be more work than a narcissist is willing to put into a relationship. Remember, they want everything to be easy. So um, they will try to break up your relationship with your child um, because to them, it's, it's kind of like um, competition. When you've got a child and it's not theirs, um, that, that fake, I can be their step parent kind of act, the mask, if you would, um, is going to be present, certainly in the beginning. But remember that through the time and as time passes, that a narcissist will reject the child because it's too much work. It's if the child does something wrong, it's your fault. They don't accept responsibility and, um, you know, they don't necessarily have to. I'm not saying that we need them to jump in and become instant mom or instant dad. But if that's the role they're playing, then they have to be there for better or for worse. And that means when your kid is getting a bad grade, or that means when every single weekend you've got a soccer game. Um, I've heard so many stories of the stepfather just, or mother, sorry, um, just deciding, I didn't sign up for this. I want my weekends. I don't want to be hauled around town going to soccer games or wrestling or whatever. Um, they get jealous of the time. They get jealous of your time that you're taking. And because you're not giving them the attention. Remember, a narcissist needs constant adoration, needs constant attention. So a, a child that comes into this mix might be a casualty that you don't even see as a possibility yet. If you're um, in a relationship and your children are the step of someone else and you come into this narcissistic relationship, Watch out for your children. Never stop protecting your children. Never stop loving your children in favor of siding with the narcissist, in favor of, um, you know, sort of 
trying to appease both. It shouldn't be a, you know, we, we, we have this responsibility or this it is should be that you're together and united in this. If they have taken on that role, if they haven't taken on the role, then it's not to be worried. But when they have said, this is the role I'm taking, I accept you and your child, watch how they discipline your child. Watch how they look at you when you discipline your child. Are they judging you? My ex-husband totally judged the way I parented. And that was sort of a manipulation to um, make me feel less than a good parent. He had no parenting experience. He had no concept of love from his own family. And yet he was quite open about telling me if I did something wrong, if I was being too protective, if I was doing too much for my son or going to too many games. Really? Do we have to go to every game? Not every parent does that. I'd rather do this on the weekend. Hold on to that. Make sure that you are protecting yourself against this type of abuse. If you've got a story of a narcissistic um, step parent, please share it down below because every one of our stories helps someone else heal. It's kind of like when the bell rings and angel gets new wings, your story helps save other people. And, um, you know, add to this conversation and let's get this started. This is Tracy. That's all I've got. Have a great day.